Hey, what's up? My name is Jordan Hoffert, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do a couple trick tips. If you learn something, that's awesome. Because this wasn't easy. Today we're going to learn 360 flips. Pretty stock trick nowadays. There's a lot of variations of people doing it. You know, you see a lot of that floaty front foot catch with the leg dangling out. I personally think that sucks. It looks like you're trying way too hard to steeze it out. Oh god, that pisses me off when people try to steeze that trick out so much. <laughs> Just like, mm, and then like a donkey kick. Oh, but oh, it really grinds my gears. It was cool when the first people did it, when the steez out, you know what I mean? But now every kid like tries really hard because those dudes did it and that was just the way they did it and it was sick. But now kids try to do that and it's like just do a 360 foot, just do it. Like stop, stop it. <laughs> anyway, Jason Lee had a really good one or has a good one, I'm sure he can still do it. Nate Jones, damn. So yeah, basically what you do, uh, you roll up. Got my board here, weird. So you roll up and uh, roll up. It's on flat, what are you rolling up on flat? Anyway, you're cruising, you're having a good time. You probably just landed a kickflip. You wanna step your game up a little bit? I put my toe here. I know Appleyard, who has a phenomenal tray flip. He puts his foot more up here. He likes to flick it there. All well and dandy. I am think I'm gonna keep mine up here. And I really drag my toe out to this uh, back corner, almost almost in the pocket, but kind of maybe more in this region. You don't really want to kick it away from you. I notice kids, younger kids, like when they're trying to figure it out, they really like put a lot of effort into it and it like goes three feet away from you. You just want to keep it under you. With the front foot, you literally just kick it out straight and you just leave it out there. And the pressure between the two areas are gonna like play on each other. And it's basically just physics that it does the flip like that. So you want to set your front foot in kind of like a kickflip position. You're going to pop it hard. You want to pop it hard because you want to flick it fast. It's a little tricky to get your weight on both sides of the board, but luckily for you, the back foot is kind of on the back and maybe you can even get it in the pocket on the opposite side a little bit. When I snap it, I'm going to scoop it and kick back with my back foot. My front foot's pretty much going to do a nice little light flick and the back foot's pretty much doing all the work. You're gonna spot that black glittery grip tape. You're not gonna stop it, but you're gonna catch it. Guide it, let it keep moving the way it wants to go. Land, you need to bend your knees. Every joint has its purpose. Your knees are to bend. So when you land, bend your knees. Hopefully you can get back up, pop a couple Advil, you know, you're gonna be all right. Well, that was my best explanation attempt at a 360 flip. They're pretty fun. A little frustrating sometimes. I know you kids are gonna watch this, or this, you probably already know how to do them because you guys progress like so fast these days, it's insane. Like when we were filming this, there's literally like 17 clones and they could do every trick. And I was filming this thinking like, dude, what am I doing? So I'm gonna attempt to forget that session. I'll just go have some fun for a change. <laughs> <laughs>